Okay, so we got three topics. We got uh, Leslie Jordan's death, uh, Cash Patel versus Donald Trump in the Mar-a-Lago fiasco, and then uh, Princess Royal Anne on this uh, Prince Harry debacle. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, thank you very much for watching. <laughs>
takes into consideration that maybe at some moment, some flash, he knew that this was it. And was he ready? Uh, the Queen of Swords. Swords are truth, justice, rules, and law. The Queen carries an awful lot of, um, of power in that sword suit, you know, r just under the king. And as a comical uh, slant, to call him the queen of his truth, of his justice, would, would probably tickle him. So the next card, was he ready? Um, the Lovers. So this is, finding, this is finding a perfect pairing. It's a... Uh, uh, right, just about in the middle of the, of the jury, fool's journey in that major arcana, uh, being the number seven. So you know, up there anyway. And then the last card was: was he ready? The seven of coins. Well, maybe he was because the seven of coins is your value. And this is looking back and thinking, "Gosh, did I do enough?" And I can see that in that last flash, thinking, "I'm not finished." Okay, so um, I would say no. He he wasn't. He wasn't ready. Um, but that doesn't matter, does it? When it happens, uh, that's the end of it. So, Leslie Jordan, what can the cards tell us in six more cards about uh, Leslie Jordan and that death? Can we figure out what happened in six cards? I don't know. Let's see. So, one, two, three, four, five, Six, huh? We'll see what the cards tell us. Leslie Jordan's death. What can we get out of this? Okay. Signifier card for Leslie Jordan's death. Six of swords. Swords again, uh, like I said, are truth, justice, rules, and law. And the six of swords is is typically moving out of troubled water. So you can see that these these uh, warrior maidens almost are in full command of their swords, okay, protecting themselves, and they're moving uh, back. So the the signifier of this question about his death uh, and is this moving out of troubled waters. Uh, I, I wonder if he might have been headed back into some of that behavior that got him into trouble uh, in his 40s and maybe 50s. Uh, which is a little too much partying, I think. But the challenge to this, and this is the question of what about Leslie Jordan's death? What can the cards tell us about that? Is the challenge that is this king of coins? Oh yeah, the challenge to moving yourself out of troubled water is the temptation of being the king of coin value, the very top of your game. So that was the challenge of staying out of trouble. The basis of this whole thing then, with this four of coins, is a uh, course coins again are value, and the four of coins is kind of holding on to your value, wanting to keep everything secure. So the basis of all this again is so late in life, really coming into this windfall. Not that he wasn't doing very well already but is now going, okay, so now I need to set this up for my old age, which sadly he didn't get to, to see. But his sisters will benefit from it, hopefully. The past to this, with this Ten of Wands, Ten of Wands is really being, um, you know, a hard bunch of, of things to handle. And this is in the past, a hard, actions, plans, forward movement. And in the past, maybe it was a little hard for him to manage that kind of middle celebrity lifestyle where you've got to keep working for a decent wage probably to maintain I can see it and then the sky with this Queen of Swords just like we said uh, in the first one is uh, yeah he just wanted to be you know have be the fun uh, in charge uh, queen of his truth his justice his rules his law and he was there after uh, you know setting out to do exactly that he said in one of his last interviews he had achieved his dreams that's why he went to Hollywood. And then the final outcome of this for Leslie, Leslie Jordan's death with this Knight of Coins is just being the fighter of that value. Well, I think the cards tell us more about him than really the death. But just to go back over, uh, Leslie Jordan and his death, what could the cards let us know? Well, he was moving out of troubled waters, okay? He was, he was defending uh, his truths, but it was challenged by being at the same time the king of all that value that he just uh, uh, happened into at this time of his life. And in the basis of it all, he wanted to hold on to it, you know, kind of protect your future. And could, because in the past with his 10 of wands, it had been a bit of a, a load to move on, but he was moving forward. 
But in the sky, really, the hopes and the fears, or in the sky, really, the, the best wishes were just to be, you know, the queen of his uh, truth, justice, rules, and law, with the likely outcome being that he would be the defender uh, of that value. And, um, you know, the knight is the one who would have fought for the value, brought it home, and put it in front of the uh, the whomever he was fighting for. And in this case, it would have been his sisters, his twin sisters, who will now be the recipients of all of his hard uh, work because they are millionaires, I'm sure. And I hope they can manage it and things work out well because that's exactly what he'd want. Now, the next part is Cash Patel. Ugh, dirty up the cards. Let's put them down and give them a beating. Cash Patel. Okay, what can the cards let us know about him? So he's the guy who was part of the administration then I guess followed Trump on and he knew, he had knowledge as to what was in the boxes, why were the boxes. I mean, he had something to, he was involved in keeping them, moving them, something to the extent that he would accept this plea arrangement. So Cash Patel and those Mar-a-Lago uh, secrets, Cash Patel um, was he trying to keep uh, this was was this was bad. He acknowledged it was bad. Uh, let's assume the cards say that, and so therefore, was he trying to keep this bad secret? Honestly, was that is that what he was doing? Three cards. Was he actively trying to keep this bad secret just to get started? Okay. The chariot moving things forward as fast as you possibly can. Uh, the four of swords. Um, this is not is knowing when to stand still and watch what's going on before you take one step forward. Okay, really study that uh, back. You know what you're facing. That's where he's at right now. And um, did he know he was defending something that was wrong? Is a hanging ghost, hanging ghost. Ten, eleven, twelve. You know I'm going to have to look that up to see what twelve of the major arcana is because I don't remember hanging ghost. Um, let's count them down. So uh, 10, 11, 12. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Justice. Hanging ghost is justice. He knew. He knew. Yep. Scary. Justice was very scary, especially given what he knew. So uh, now Cash Patel. Um, is what he has to reveal to the grand jury uh, significant in, in, you know, taking down Donald Trump? Is that what we want to know? Will this do it? Is this the, the significant piece that's going to take down Donald Trump? That's what I want to know. Six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Is this the piece that's finally going to do it? Isn't it what we all, every time something comes along, honestly, isn't that the first thing you, that goes through your mind? Is this it? Signifier card for this piece of news. Three of Cups. Well, it's a compassionate celebration, okay? Cups are, okay, it's a celebration. Um, and the challenge to it is the world card, the universe is the completion of a complete cycle. That could say that, you know, with some compassion, this is the end of that complete cycle. And the basis of it with the Seven of Cups is illusion. And of course, the basis of the whole thing has always been illusion and delusion. Yeah. Um, and also the Seven of Cups, uh, I'm sorry, I'm taking it for the Seven of the Major Arcana. But the Seven of Cups... Yeah, that is illusion of delusion. So now the uh, past to that then with his three coins is uh, a broken, uh, not a, yeah, it's 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 a broken heart, or put, make it, putting something up for public display. You know, um, that's in the past. So it's all putting all that behind you. Okay, in the sky of this then with temperance ah, and of the major arcana too. So this is finding that perfect balance. Uh, that you think you can legally to uh, get this done and save yourself. Finding that perfect balance. And then the final outcome for Cash Patel and the Mar-a-Lago Secrets is this Page of Cups. This is the very weakest offer of compassion. So this is the, the, the message. The page is the least important of the royal 
uh, cards. And so he's just bringing this tiny little cup of compassion to the party. And that's all that you can give Trump. And that's all that you're going to able to respect. That little significant uh, downfall is what's uh, the deal here. So Cash Patel, uh, yeah, with the Three of Cups, it was a, a, a celebration. But, you know, Three of Cups. Three girls walking around uh, having a drink. Three guys in this in this case, and it's challenged by the universe. The complete end of that cycle with uh, the, the stabilize the bottom of everything was the illusion and delusion. And with this uh, trying to keep something up for the public to look at, that's over. That was in the past. And in the sky, of this is just finding that perfect temperance, a perfect perfect balance to get you out of it. And the page of cups is the compassionate part of it. Is never going to be more than a thimbleful, really, for anybody involved in any way. So we can put these away because now we're going on to Princess Anne, Princess Royal. Princess Royal Anne. I thought we'd use the fancy cards for her. Okay. Princess Royal Anne. And this is regarding the, the Prince Harry situation. So she has to have some practical thoughts. I mean, she has lived through all of it. I mean, she saw her aunt, Princess Margaret, when she was going wild. Um, she would have heard of her dad's escapades uh, when him and his wife were first married. Um, she would have seen uh, all of the stuff that's always going on behind the scenes in these families. I mean, this wasn't so much in my family, but, you know, she's seen it all. So, Princess Anne... The Prince Harry debacle. Let's start out with six cards and see if we need more of it after that. But just see what story the cards could tell about Princess Anne right now on this Prince Harry nightmare. You know, if something wanted to come out, and if I can get it, I'll show it to you. So that is the Page of Cups. <laughs> just like we were saying, Cups of Compassion, very little does she have for any of this. So that's an interesting card to start with. So Princess Anne on the Prince Harry debacle. Six cards. Maybe we'll do four more. We'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, she has lived to the end of it all. She saw the Prince Charles, Diana, mess, and now Camilla is the queen. I mean, why are we bothering to be worried about it? She's seen it all. Signifier card for this and uh, regarding Harry's uh, situation is the Four of Wands, uh, smallish uh, celebrations. Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. And uh, so this uh, Four of Wands is kind of smallish. So maybe everything that's going on right now in this change uh, to Charles is not such a big deal. My guess, I could be really off on that. But the challenge to whatever that Four of Wands is, which are smaller celebrations, is this uh, Knight of Cups. Okay, fighting for that value. He's the, the Knight is the fighter of the Royal Court, and he's holding on to that, that cup he's been given charge of. So the challenge to these smaller celebrations is to continue that fight for that value of that monarchy. And then the, the, the uh, base of this whole thing, of course, with the Three of Wands, which is long-term planning, of wands mean actions, plans, forward movement. Three of Wands is really looking to see what you're going to do. Some fruitful things can happen. And that's the basis of all this, the future of the monarchy. Of course it is, the long-term uh, plans. And with the past, wow, this is perfect, is temperance. And yeah, finding that uh, perfect balance between what is the past, Queen Elizabeth, and what is the future, King Charles. We want to know about Harry. Maybe Charles is just now beginning us there to get us there because in the sky of this thing regarding uh, Princess Anne uh, about the Harry debacle, debacle is that it is a nightmare. It is just a nightmare that uh, didn't have to be had if they knew what she knew and knew how unimportant this is in the, in the long run. And then the final outcome of all of this is this King of Swords, Princess Anne on the Prince Harry debacle, King of Swords being the final card really being in charge i guess you know that would be the lesson is you know what take your future and be in charge of it let's do four more cards just to see what they might tell us princess anne on the harry debacle hmm you know it's kind of like you know whatever you're going to do do it <laughs> we have a saying poop or get off the pot uh not with such a nice word so the basis of this 
uh, right here on uh, the very the very self of that question, uh, Princess Anne regarding Prince Harry, with his five of coins is being left out in the cold. Interesting. This person is giving comfort uh, to someone who it seems like would be the one who's been left out in the cold because this one seems to be uh, under the protection of all this value right here, the way I read it. So she does have some compassion for him uh, in the environment of this queen of wands, okay, really having to be in charge of your of your actions. That's who she's always been. And uh, so, and then the hopes of the fears for that with this six of coins is finding the right distribution of that wealth and the wealth being the compassion, finding the right distribution of that between the monarchy and real life. And then the final outcome being this knight of wands, again, just having to be the one that fights in this case for the plan, which is the monarchy for the future. Yeah, she's all about business. She understands it and she can separate it and everyone else should be able to too. But if they can't, she understands their journey, I think. Three very different topics, viewer question, and that's um, what we got. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So this is the Chinese tarot deck by, I don't know how to pronounce this, Wei Gulang. Perhaps you can see it there and make your own determination as to how to pronounce it. But this is by U.S. Games Systems. And uh, I've had these cards for a bit, and I've been uh, playing with them. And so I thought I'd just um, show you uh, what we've got here. So they come in just a typical, uh, you know, little box. It's not anything to speak of, really. And um, the um, the inserts in here are, again, what you typically find with cards. And the, the deck, the uh, instruction pamphlet, is just uh, a typical little uh, instruction pamphlet with the typical uh, suggestions in one language as to how to divide the cards. So, there. And, um, but the cards themselves are pretty cool. I've enjoyed using them, and they're not hard to uh, interpret. Now, this is a really neat design on the back. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got like a warrior here with their hands outstretched, and then all this going on, and another warrior upside down here. So that's the back, but then the cards themselves are really beautiful. They're good size, and uh, the art is interesting, and they're very easy to read, uh, even though they don't have the typical little uh, signals that uh, a lot of cards give you as to what this means and what that means, and you know, you know what I mean? So there we go. So this is the uh, the Chinese tarot deck. And, you know, I like to spread them out like this for two reasons. One, if you're working with somebody, you can let them uh, kind of spread them out this way if they're not com comfortable with shuffling and you really want them to get involved with all the cards. And two, um, you know, when I was just uh, looking at uh, readers online, I always wondered, what does the rest of the deck look like besides what I got to see in just this short little presentation? So this is the Chinese tarot deck, and I like it. Okay, so these are, again, some amazing cards. The Touchstone Tarot by Cat Black, who's an Australian artist. She lives in on the western, uh, southwestern, I think, part of Australia. But the box is so great. You really feel like you got something worthwhile in that. The instruction booklet is, um, is very good, as a matter of fact. It's not in color, but it's got some really good uh, ideas for divination. Tells you a little bit about the artist, so that's handy. And then the cards, I mean, look how beautiful they are. Even just the back is gilding. You can feel that gilding right there. But the front, these cards are not hard to decipher, but they really focus in on the face. Of You'll notice all of these are, you know, from the bust up, from the waist almost up. So they really make you identify with the face when you're trying to make the interpretation. Cat Black is amazing. Um, I don't know how... Uh, she came up with this, but she came with some beautiful, beautiful artwork and all digital. So there's not a painting somewhere that looks like this. Of course, these are made from actual uh, paintings. And, you know, I, I do this so that everybody can look at these cards and maybe you don't get to see uh, kind of different kind of cards. And, um, and this gives you that opportunity. I always wanted to see what the tarot readers were using, what the cards looked like when I was uh, only just uh, being a viewer. Well, I'm Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.